Hello and welcome back. We are now going to look at the two key components of condition-based and performance-based maintenance. First is the measuring point which marks the present condition of the asset such as temperature, RPM and pressure. The next one is counters which represent the change in equipment use for life in terms of run hours. To customize counters and measuring points, we go to SPRO, then to IMG, then to Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, then to Master Data in Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Basic Settings, Measuring points, counters, and measurement documents. And finally, to make system settings for measuring points and measurement documents. So we go ahead and open that. And all we need to do here is to make sure that this is checked. That is setting the transfer to generate interval documents. So once that is done, we can go back and define our measuring point categories. So we go ahead and open it. And what you see here are some of the categories that can be used to assign attributes to a measuring point or a counter. We have L for linear measuring points. We have M for measuring general measuring points and U for unique measuring position. So let us go ahead and open one of them. So again, we have the category type here, that is U. We have the description, and then we have measuring position uniqueness. And what this does is that it prevents points from being defined more than once. We have a few choices here. We can either fail to check for uniqueness, we can check for uniqueness within the object or we can check for uniqueness at the client level. So the next one is catalog type and that is closely tied to damage code. And this is used for or when entering measurement readings to record the inspection results. So we have the measuring message measuring rage message and this is a message that you get when measuring limits are exceeded you either get a warning we put a w if we get want to get a warning we can put an e enter e for error or we can leave it blank so again here we have the tolerance period this is given in seconds and it's used during data transfer between systems. There are times that you could have variations during that transfer. So you have, you want to have some tolerance period there, which is uh, in this case is 90 seconds. So lastly, we have the linear asset checkbox here. And what it does is that it determines whether you can enter linear data for a measuring point. So we are going to look at the additional customizing functions in later videos. One of the things that I would like to note is that counters and measuring points are used for task lists. They're used for maintenance plans, functional locations, and order confirmations. So that is how we customize measuring points and counters which happen to be key components of condition-based and performance-based maintenance. In the next video, we are going to learn more about permits. These are regulations that need to be taken into account for some technical objects. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.